Okay, so we're going to discuss on how to create ramps in Revit. So we can find the ramp uh, command on the architecture tab beside stairs. So this is the icon for ramp. So <clears throat> to create a ramp, you have to click this icon. So sadly, it doesn't have a shortcut command. So if you want to put some commands or shortcut commands, you may. So let's click this icon. <clears throat> and then you can find on the modify tab the run boundary and riser. So these are the drawing tools that you can use to create a ramp. So first, you have to click this one. So we have already a ramp here. So if you could notice, there's a uh, sub text uh, saying that uh, 12 meters of inclined ramp created and 36 meters remaining. Meaning, uh, the maximum length of ramp that we could create is only 12 meters and we have a 36 meters left. Why? It's because our ramp depends on the default elevation or the elevation that we created on our Revit. So for example, level 1 to level 2, it's 4 meters. So once we Revit computed it, you have a uh, 48 meters length of ramp. So once we created another one here, it automatically creates the landing for your ramp. And uh, there's an adjustment happen that you already have 24 meters remaining and 24 meters of inclined ramp created. So again, if you created another one, so 36 meters created and 12 meters remaining. So same as here. So <clears throat> it means uh, we've already uh, maximized the length of ramp that we have. So once we click OK and go to the um, 3D view. So you can see here that it is a continuous ramp. So if we go to our south elevation, so the default or the elevation that we have here is 4 meters. So as I've said, uh, our ramp depends on the elevation that we created on our Revit. So that's how you create a ramp. And then uh, if you click the ramp, here on the properties, uh, you have the constraints. So the base level of our ramp is on level 1. But you can actually edit this one to level 2. It depends on the plan that you have. Then the base offset, base offset from level 1. So if we put values here, positive value indicates the ramp will go up and negative values, uh, the ramp goes down. So the top level, so the top level indicates the last uh, run or riser for your ramp. So same as here with the base offset and the top offset. Positive values uh, indicates that the ramp has a upward offset, then uh, negative values downward offset. So once you click the edit type, so always duplicate the elements that you created, whether it's walls, ramps, stairs. So always duplicate it. So it won't affect other uh, elements that you created with the same materials or type of elements that you've created. So here we have the construction. So we have the shape. So the shape indicates uh, what type of ramp that you're going to do. If thick, it means that uh, there's a thickness for your uh, ramp. I mean, it's independent, meaning uh, it's not sticking to the ground. But if you choose the solid, then click apply. So your ramp is solid. So as if it's a, for example, a pure concrete. So that's bad. Uh, example of solid. So if you want to make it thick, then click apply. So your uh, ramp has already a thickness. So next to shape is the thickness. So what's the thickness of your ramp? Then the function, uh, you have interior and exterior, meaning if the ramp is, if the function is interior, meaning uh, Revit 
some parts of the elements or or structures here in Revit has an effect on its function, whether it's interior or exterior. If we put interior, for example, and the materials that we use is wood, so there's a different uh, analysis or data for that. So Revit computes whether the materials are used for exterior or interior purposes. So next is graphics. So once we go to our plan, it has a up text and down text. So so this graphics actually refers to the text of the or the symbol for your ramp. So then the materials finishes. Uh, what kind of materials is your ramp? Then the dimensions. Uh, if we could remember that the maximum length that we could use for a ramp is only 12 meters. So if you want to change this one, for example, make it 6 meters, then every 6 meters you have a landing. So you could only create that uh, 6 meters length. So for example, uh, change, we change this to 6 meters, then OK. Then go back to level 1, create another ramp. So architecture, ramp. So that's the maximum length that we could create for our ramp. So if you want to create another one, every 6 meters. So we go back, let's check this one, then we go back to edit type. Next is the ramp slope. So 1 over x. So the x here is this 12. So meaning 1 over 12. So if we change this one, for example 8, so the max slope would be 1 over 8. Or 1 is to 8. Okay. So the higher the value, the shorter the ramp you can create. The longer the uh, the high the shorter the value, the longer. Uh, sorry, the higher the value, the shorter the ramp you created, or you will create the long the shorter the value, or the smaller the value, the longer ramp you can create. So, click OK. So, that's it on how to create a ramp in Revit. Thank <laughs> you.